back in for the second half, and all my teammates were telling me that the shots were going to fall, just keep shooting. And, you know, I was telling them, even if they don't fall, I'll do something else out there on the court to help us. Anything, whatever it takes. Iverson did just that in the third. He hit four straight free throws, thanks in part to a Cassell technical. Moments later, his quickness caused a turnover by Glenn Robinson. The next possession, he answered with a jumper to tie the game at 63. But it was Iverson's teammates and some fortuitous calls that were the difference for Philadelphia. Two flagrant fouls in the second half by the Bucks led to nine points for Philadelphia and kept the game within reach. Someone was in position to be a hero, and Snow took that role, hitting a jumper to put the Sixers up one, and then takes the outside jumper from the last one. Oh, my goodness. Jim, how about that with Eric Snow? Not out of Iverson, Eric Snow. <laughs> my man, man. I was, look, I was looking at his um, x-rays today and was just sitting there just shaking my head knowing he got a screw on his foot already. That was a gutty performance by him. Um, you know, he's playing on it. Uh, an ankle that's, you know, you, you can say almost broke. And he went out there and gutted it out, so, you know, I got to tip my hat to him. I felt that I could just go out and you know, try to see what I can do and you know I was blessed and fortunate enough to to be able to um, make a big contribution but the Bucks had one last chance Robinson fakes gets his shot up rimming no tip Allen no the game is over Philadelphia wins he had opportunity to win the game and we didn't and you know we asked to be in this situation to have a chance to win the game and we had the opportunity and you know Glenn took a shot that you know we all would have gave him many times over and he just didn't make it